Hi everyone, welcome back to the Storytime family. How's everyone going today? Is it sunny where you are? It is absolutely beautiful here today. We are enjoying a sunny spring day and it's 23 degrees and just beautiful. I hope you had a fun day at school. Are you ready to sit down and read a book with us? Today we have Insects, Bugs and Rock and Roll by Alex Brooks. Let's get started, shall we? Insects, Bugs and Rock and Roll Spider was mean. Spider was cruel. Spider was grumpy with no friends at all. His gigantic web was by far the best. Avoiding his trap was a fly's hardest test. As the web grew bigger, more flies were caught. Snaring bugs was his favorite sport. But watching his figure, He'd eat only one. The rest of the critters were purely for fun. Then one morning, after dreaming of flies, the juiciest kind with googly eyes, Spider was woken by a glorious sound, beautiful music that had him spellbound. Spider smiled for the first time in years. He felt so happy, his eyes filled with tears. And all of a sudden, the music ended and Spider's mood quickly descended. Right in front of his very eyes appeared to be the smuggest of flies. Kicking back with hands behind head, wearing sunglasses and a mohican, dyed red. Spider thought, the cheek of this guy. I guess for breakfast I'm having poached fly. But as Spider moved into snatching position, he realized fly was, in fact, the musician. Fly plucked, strummed, and slid around using Spider's web to create the sound. Spider looked down at eight jiggling feet that he couldn't stop moving to Fly's funky beat. Then Fly looked at Spider, pointed his wing, and coolly said, Don't suppose you can sing? Spider blushed shyly. Well, I don't really know but opened his mouth and gave it a go. Perfectly in tune, with harmonious tone, Spider had talent that he'd never known. With that crowd who had slowly appeared, clap, dance, whooped, and cheered. Spider was clearly born for the stage and could barely remember his previous rage. They partied all night and into the day. Then Spider said, Fly, please step this way. With his head hung low, he said with a sigh, My friend, I've been an awful guy. I've tormented termites bullied bees, and I can't even tell you what I've done to fleas. Cricket, athletics, basketball, bugbee, lice hockey, I've played them all. I feel so ashamed of all I've done, because harming others should never be fun. I don't want to be evil, I just want to sing. If you agree to take me under your wing,
So they form a band, travel worldwide, hang out with the lights of Pink Floyd, make platinum records, reach the top of the charts, sold out arenas, and won countless hearts. Spider and Fly, a duo with no equals, the greatest band since the world-renowned Beatles. But then one evening, whilst on tour, Spider said, Fly, I must do more. I need to try to right my wrongs more than just writing songs. I once built webs for reasons so cruel, but instead they should be loved by all. Spider began weaving the very next day, creating instruments for insects to play. Then made bridges for bugs to cross a gap, hammocks for hornets to take a nap, curtains for cockroaches to keep out light, trampolines for ticks to gain some flight, goals for grasshoppers, nets for gnats, shade for slugs, who lost their hats. Spider continued for many years more until his spinnerets grew old and sore. And for all his hard work and being good, Queen Bee awarded him with a knighthood. Spider and Fly stayed glued together, two old buddies still rocking leather. Wherever Fly went, Spider went too. But drew the line when it came to... Poo! And that was the end of Insects, Bugs, and Rock and Roll. That was pretty fun, right? If you'd like to own a copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Do give us a like if you enjoyed this story and subscribe if you haven't and click on the bell for more stories like this. Thank you so much for dropping in. We'll see you again next time. You take care and enjoy your family. Bye-bye.